Hello. We're going to do a little unboxing of your new near infrared photobiomodulation helmet for brain health. And when we unpack the box, here's what we have, and I'll take you through each piece and how they go together. So I have it roughly laid out for you. We're going to see the DIN connector will plug into the controller. The other end of the DIN with the 90 degree turn will plug into the helmet. The small adapter will plug into the cord with the switch in it and the a large power supply will plug into the other extension. So we'll see what that looks like here in a moment. So now I have attached the right angle to the back of the helmet the straight DIN into the controller, the small power supply into the cord with the switch, and the large power supply into the cord without a switch. And the power is on. So next we'll take a look at the controller. Once you press start, you'll notice that the four red LEDs are pulsing, showing you the pulse rate you have set. The other LEDs that are near infrared, you can't actually see with the naked eye, but if we get in close enough, the camera will pick it up as a slight purple. Right, so we can see a slight purple in there. Okay, for the controller, you have two main buttons. This will take you into your program modes, and this is just a standard mode. So we'll go into the standard first can see we have it set for a 40 hertz frequency on medium power set for 30 minutes. So if you want to change the frequency, we'll just come in there, touch, and delete, set that for 10. And now you can see we have 10. And for the power, if you touch, you can drop that down as low as one bar, two, three, four. When you're on maximum, you're going to have most of the LEDs are going to be constant and not flickering. So if you want to use your frequency function, it's better to keep your power setting on three, where you have all of your infrared LEDs pulsing. Again, four, some will pulse, most won't. That maximizes the amount of light being delivered. So when using the pulsing function, I recommend setting it on three or lower, depending on how much light energy you want to deliver. And then time, I'm going to come in, touch the time, delete, set for the time you want. Okay, then press start. When the timer runs down, it'll beep three times and turn off. But if you want to finish a session before the time is up, you'll just press the power button. Then we can go back to our main controls. We can go here. And this is like the presets on your car radio. You can program these for preset sessions. So we can go in here and what we'll see is the front left quadrant will be at 15 hertz and on power three. The left rear quadrant of the helmet will be at 10 hertz the front right will be at 15 hertz and the back right will be at 10 hertz right? and again for 30 minutes so for basic users i recommend we just start here with the standard and go with a 40 hertz protocol during the day 
And then depending on your quality of sleep, if you're a good sleeper, 40 hertz in the evening. If sleep is challenging for you, go with a 10 hertz treatment in the evening. You may need to play with it a little bit to find out what works best for you. But this is where I like to have people start is a 40 hertz treatment all over the whole head. Once you get more comfortable using the device and a little further along in treatment, we'll start to use the other settings to drive the brain in very specific ways. The general recommendation is that you start with six minutes, two times a day, and slowly add a minute every few days until you get up to the level that we have discussed is appropriate for your condition, for your health level, other concerns we might have. It's the old adage, low and slow. And we it's like going to the gym, you don't wanna lift all the weights on the first day. Same for your brain, this is a workout. So we wanna be kind to it and ease it into this process.